to a new video. In today's video, I am creating a set of like spring Easter chick nails. Yes, um, <laughs> kind of like didn't know what to call them. Uh, so I am using Madame Glam gel polish today. I have got quite a few of them, but I will tell you the colors as we go through the video. <clears throat> um, if you do want to get 30% off any Madame Glam gel polishes, you can use my code NATMUG30 and you'll save a whopping 30%, which I think I just said. Um, if you also want to, you can join their VIP subscription thing where they take $29 from your account every month and that stores in your account as like credit. So every month you'll have like £29 credit. Um, and if you do if you do it that way, you get 50% off every time you order, which is a bargain. Um, but if you don't want to do the subscription thing, 30% off is still a massive saving. So it's worth taking advantage of either, either, either. Um, so I've done the first nail, we're going to do the chick nail first. <clears throat> I've done two coats of perfect white. I've put some matte gel polish on the top because I prefer to draw things on a buffed or matte surface. Um, I, I've actually run out of Madame Glam's matte top coat. I do need to buy some. Um, but I can't afford it yet. <laughs> So I haven't, so I'm using a different brand, which I won't mention because today's video is about Madame Glam. Um, I'm using Bright Honey. This one's called Bright Honey. And I'm just drawing out, this is like a really easy chick. It's not difficult. I didn't want to make it difficult um, because I wanted to do a chick that you guys could also do if you wanted to at home or at the salon, but the salons aren't open. So we'll just stay at home for a minute. Oh, unless you're in a different part of the world, then the salons might be open. But here in the UK, salons are still not open yet. Now techs are not able to work just yet. So we're now doing an oval shape for the body. It's like a fat oval, like a bit like mine. <laughs> Actually, I'm probably, yeah, no, I think I'm, I'm just round. And then off the side here, nothing too um nothing too detailed we're just going to do like two wings but because we've filled up the nail you can't really see that they're you know it's but it kind of works better for me because it's less detail i have to put on <clears throat> so i've also got single and fabulous this is a dark orange we're going to use it's actually a really nice orange we're going to use this to create the little chicks f f f f f F -f 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 I was gonna say feet but it's like the the legs and the feet um so you just do a line and then you just do three little three little like little lines coming out of that line <clears throat> uh, I'd call this like a snowman's arm <laughs> like a twig arm um easy peasy and then every time the video cuts there it's because I flash cured it and I couldn't be bothered to put the transition in so my editing today is pretty naff <laughs> but each time i do a little bit if i feel like it i will do a flash cure just to keep the gel polish in place i'm using perfect black for the eyes and i'm applying this with a dotting tool i, fi I find this it's, it's easier doing this with a dotting tool than what it is with the brush um that's going to cure and then we're going to apply a little white dot just to add a little bit of detail onto the eyeballs and then that will be flash cured <clears throat> then i'm using fries before guys this is a darker yellow i actually really really like this color but i'm just putting this on the wings i don't even know how i don't even know how to describe how i'm doing it i just wanted to add a little bit to the wings and then i'm adding a little bit under the head and a little bit under the belly because that's kind of where the shadow would be if the light was kind of coming down from the top he'd have a shadow under his face and under his belly because I've decided he's got a little pork, pork, pa, 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 a little, not, <laughs> he's got a little porky belly. That's what I was trying to say. <sighs> so it's going to go in the lamp for a full cure. Then on the next nail, I am going to do light lilac. So this is kind of a Easter egg sort of nail. And I saw this design on a set by i think it was bnails.com or nailsb.com i can't remember um but it was on pinterest i looked on pinterest for a change and i, I looked at easter nails actually <clears throat> and i just like the 
I like the design of this nail, so I thought we'd add this into my set. So I'm doing a, this is, I'm actually using my striper brush now because I'm going widthways. Honestly, I didn't really need to use a striper brush. I could have just used my detailer brush and to be honest, it probably would have been a lot easier with a detailer brush. Eee! But there we go. I do like to do things the difficult way sometimes. That's just gonna flash cure in the lamp. Then I'm gonna do another line, just a little bit further down. Now what I do at the top, I'm gonna repeat on the bottom. So it's gonna kind of like mirror itself. And then again, once I'm happy, I will just, no, I don't flash cure that actually, because on this one, I'm adding some dots to make a little bit of a, is it like a, do they call it a scalloped, a scalloped edge? <clears throat> do you know what I mean? Am I, am I get? is that the right word? If it's not, it doesn't matter. It's just like a dotty edge. And we're going to repeat this on the bottom. There we are. So now I'm going to give that a flash cure. Then we're going to add dots between the lines. That dot was awful. These were the, the least neatest dots I think I've ever done in my life. And then again, obviously, we're going to repeat on the bottom. And then you can flash kill that again. I'm going to come back to that now because I wasn't sure what I was going to do in the middle. But I, I do do what I originally was going to do in the middle, which was what was on the original now. <laughs> so I've got 50 shades of pink, um, grassy, sassy, kiss on the cheek and baby blue. I'm putting a little blob of all of these onto my palette because we're going to use those to make some flowers. I am going to cover this nail in 50 shades of pink. This one is. <clears throat> I forgot, but I remembered. So this one, I was only going to do one coat, but actually I couldn't, it, I ended up putting two on because I couldn't get the colour nice and even because I was being a bit of a wally. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. It's really nice pink actually. And then I'm going to add some flowers. So the flowers that I do are dots. And then you just use a detailer brush to pull the colour from the dot into the centre of the flower. So each dot will then become a petal really. Can you see what I'm doing here? You can't really because it's right on the corner. But we're going to put a few of these flowers on the nail. And I'm only going to have... This is the only one big nail that I'm going to do. No, not nail. Oh, pardon me. The only one big flower that I'm going to do. It's going to be in the centre here. And I think this is like lilac I'm using. It does... It is a little bit wonky. Not going to lie. It's a little bit of a wonky flower. But can you see I'm using my detailer brush just to move that gel polish into the center of the flower and then i'm just going to neaten up the petals and <clears throat> at this point i'm not too worried if they're a little bit wonky because i am we are going to add like a center to the flower which will just it sort of i'll show you in a minute it just kind of makes everything look a little bit more symmetrical and even hmm. <laughs> so i've added a few more flowers on most of them are coming half on and half off but this is the little dot that i told you i was going to put in each of the flowers so some of them it just about fits in okay then you can pop that in the lamp to cure or flash cure if you want and then i decided to add a, a few dots between the flowers so that will be that now finished and this is the one that we're coming back to. So again, um, I meant to be nice and even with this, but the first dot was a lot closer to the top of the nail than the bottom dot, the second dot. So it's not even at all. But never mind. <laughs> so again, I'm just going to use the brush. These are really easy flowers. I love doing them as well. I don't know what it is about them, but I just I enjoy doing these. So I'm just trying to make everything neat and match up. Okay, so once I'm happy with that, that's going to go in the lamp for a quick flash cure. And then the centre of this flower is going to be yellow. It's a bit like a daisy, this one. There we go. So it looks a little bit neater now with the dot in the middle. 
So the, is this the last nail? Yes, it is. This is the last nail. Oh my God, I had to think about that then. <laughs> it's two coats of baby blue on this one. <clears throat> Again, Madame Glam gel polish is cured for 30 seconds. So just pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. I like this blue. It's very nice. I like it a lot. So pop that into the lamp. And then I don't know why I chose this colour, but I wanted to do a free edge. Um, this, I love, love, love this colour. It's kiss on the cheek, but it's, I think for the set, it's a little bit too neon. It's like a pastel neon, um, but it is, it's too neon, I think. But I went with it anyway, because I'd done one of the flowers with it. And I just felt like I wanted, can you hear the dustman outside? It sounds like a screaming animal or something. <laughs> But it's the dustbin men and their dust cart or their dustbin lorry, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, anyway, sorry, I'm miles away then. Um, so yeah, this I just felt like this was the wrong colour, but why do they keep screaming? It sounds like a dinosaur, doesn't it? Or a monster. Ooh. Yeah, I don't feel like they match the set, but I kind of... I'm going to add some flowers on it to hopefully make it more to look more camouflaged <laughs> this orange is anything but camouflaged to be fair it's it's a beautiful color i just wasn't sure about it in this set that's all so i thought right we'll add some flowers in the same way that we did with the flowers on the other nails only i'm using a smaller dotting tool to create a smaller flower so again use the brush to pull the product in screaming that's horrible isn't that awful but at least they finally decided to empty our bins honestly our bin shed was full of rubbish it was crazy they didn't take it because the bins were overflow but they're overflow because they don't take it it's stupid uh, so again look dots in the middle sorry i've gone off on one again then i'm just gonna add um another flower using this one's like lilac that first one was 50 shades of pink um, yeah, I'll let you watch this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's going to go in the lamp. And then, um, I would, this would normally be, um, Madame Clam's velvet matte, but I've got to use a different one because I've run out. So I am going to matte top coat all of these. Um, I will show you what they look like in a minute before I cure them. Because if you want them shiny, you will get a glimpse of what they look like shiny. To be honest, I think they'd look nice either way. I've been watching Ultraman on Netflix. It's anime. I'm really into anime at the moment. <laughs> and I decided, and I, I I ended up, I think I was, I paused there for a little bit because I was watching the telly. I watch Netflix when I do nails, you see. So there we go. This is what they look like shiny. There we go. They're going to go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And pardon me, this is the finished set. I hope you like them. I'm really burpy because I've been drinking Pepsi. <gasps> God, stop. There we are. Um, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Don't forget you can get 30% off Madame Glam using my code NATMOG30. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you. And I will see you beautiful lot tomorrow with another video, which I better do because I haven't done. <laughs> Love you, bye.